What up, fantasy football people? It is that time of the year. Um, some of you will not be happy, though, with the names that we have on this list. These are injuries, which seems <laughs> as last year was a bunch of running backs this year. It's a, it's a little mix-up. Uh, we'll start with Caleb's boy, Puka Nakua. Um, oh, boy. Going on IR, IL, yeah. whatever. Out of these four weeks, um... And if you're anything like me, you don't have a fucking backup because they're hurt too. So you're kind of screwed. Um, right now, I'm trying to pick somebody up. I don't really want to say it because Nick's in my league with me, but I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get Demarcus Robinson from the Rams. That's, yeah. That's the number he one good game. He, he, I mean, yeah. he did last night, but they, it felt like they did a good job of spreading the ball out. Yeah, they so did. I wouldn't give up too much for that fool. I'm not. He's on waivers, so I'm just trying to oh, pick him yeah, up. Yeah, Gucci. Yeah, he's on waivers. If I'm trying to trade for somebody right now, the person I want is Brian Thomas Jr. And I don't feel like I have to give up too much for it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you went high with Puka Pig. It's very. That's hard what I'm saying. That. Well, I kept him. I yeah. kept him. So it's it even was, hard, worse. Yeah. Ugh. Most people went high on the Puka yeah. Nakua pick, so replacing it was a late injured. first, oh, early second round. Tyler Johnson looked pretty good too. I was gonna say Tyler Johnson is probably the other person on that team. If I can't get Demarcus Robinson, then I'm gonna but honestly, him. like, what are you willing to give up to replace Puka, knowing that he'll be back in a month? You know what I'm saying? Like, Nothing. what is I put him on my IR and I can go grab him off waivers. What's an appropriate thing? Yeah, but you want you want Puka something relatively close, or yeah. the confidence that somebody's going to offer you something. I would yeah. say flirt with like a flex feel, maybe like a. Chris That's Godwin. what I was thinking too. Like the first thing I thought of is like, even though he had a shitty game yesterday, I'd put emphasis on JSN. Like I think in the long run he's going to have a monster year in that system. And Very cheap. Before people realize how good he's going to be in that system, and he had a bad game yesterday, that'd be somebody I would chase after. I mean, Cooper so, Cup's value is just skyrocketing. I mean, he looked not only did he look good yesterday, but now he's just going to get oh, we got him. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to get all the shit. Yeah, he stole him from us. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I have Cooper Cup in one of the other leagues. Um, yeah, that that one's a little tough to navigate on. <laughs> For the value that you got him for, um, some of these other names, though. I mean, Jordan Love. Now, now, before we go on, I got one name that I would float out there to replace Puka, because I talk shit about this dude all the time. But I think he's the closest you could get to that production. It would be, it would be Chris Olave. Yeah. Because either you love him or you hate him, and you yeah. hopefully you got somebody who don't really care for him, and he just might pop off. Most of the people that draft, I'll do it right now. I'll love. text and see. I'll say. I'll text I the. Like I will text go the owner of him right now. I will go Raheem Shahid because you could get him for less. If you're gonna get a Saints receiver, he's a boomer bust guy, but he <laughs> he boomed yesterday. Yeah, um, but like, like these two are like GMs. Like they try to make nineteen thousand trades a day, so. If they could manipulate manipulate somebody for Chris Olave, Puka comes back. They could always use Olave to like upgrade yeah. another spot. You know what I mean? I just don't think the Saints are for real, but no, I don't either. But luckily for Puka owners, though, like how you said with Chris Olave, like there's a lot of wide receivers that did really bad that should have bounce back game. And the nerves of owners after week one are going to, oh, I got to trade him. I got to get something for him. And it's like, oh, cool. I'll get him for cheaper and everything. Like me, I'm going to get Caleb Williams after he plays the Texans and does really bad. And I'm going to get him for like absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, I'm good at it. Strategy, bro. It's strategy. It's a, it's a slow one. Eh? Now, speaking of quarterbacks, James, your boy Jordan Love, he's out. Um, a lot of people were high on him. They got him as their starters. Stupid. Yeah. Uh, Stupid turf. I don't know. That's, I feel like this one's a tough one because there was a lot of bad quarterback play. Yeah, it was at a least, turf. 
I was looking at a couple of my leagues um, that are available quarterback wise, and the three biggest names that I think are available in probably more leagues than not are probably Rodgers, Derek Carr, and Baker. I think Carr's numbers were a little bit misleading because he was playing the dog shit Panthers. Yeah. But I think I think Baker, if you can get Baker Mayfield to replace Love for four to five weeks, that's fine. Mm-hmm. He's gonna throw it up to Mike Evans. He's gonna he's gonna get you some points. Um, he's not as bad as people seem to think he is. Yeah, the commander's defense also really sucks, but I think Baker is a, a great safety uh, pick pick up on the waiver wire. Again, they were able to use everybody yesterday. Like, they used Bucky. They used Jalen McMillan. Like, last year they were stuck on Evans. The Godwin didn't even get shit. But Godwin got something yesterday. It was pretty balanced. So, you're right. Baker would be a good pickup, especially if you don't have to give anything up for him. Yeah. I like that. On a fan, I like that. I mean, you don't get me wrong. He may be a week away from cussing you out for saying that because Baker yeah. does that to you. So. <laughs> you could you could always try the big dick strategy like me yesterday and try and throw in Justin Fields and hope for the best. But that didn't go too well. But he did better than Caleb Williams. It didn't make any sense. There's worse options out there. I have Kirk Cousins on my bench, and hey. his, his next two games is against the Eagles and Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to sound ridiculous. If I was going to trade for somebody, realistically try to trade for somebody, it'd be Matt Stafford. Yeah. It's, it's obvious that they gave no shits about the run game yesterday. I literally watched them run like four plays in a row where they lined up five wide. Yeah, you're throwing the ball. And you throw the ball really well? Come on. You know who I might go try and pick up that I know is probably on waivers right now is who Zach was saying yesterday, Bo Nix. I like the kid. I'll see Bo Nix, and I'm like, you're a for real football player. You may not know what the hell you're doing quite yet, but it was your first game. I like the kid. Yep. He's not going to do any worse than Jordan Love's going to do for the next few weeks. Although I wouldn't play Bo Nix this week. They're playing the Steelers in that defense. Got after. I don't. I don't think the Steelers' defense is any better than Seattle's because they're just really good. So it's going to be a lot of the same. I mean, you got Derek Watt on your ass, but TJ Watt on your ass, but I don't know. I don't know. I painfully regret drafting Bryce Young, though. But yeah. whatever. Yeah, that was bad. Um, yeah, I'm kind of glad you got him before me because I was going to be on the wagon too. Like, yeah, and he he, he was terrible. I mean, there's some bad play out there, so you can really mess it up and go him. Daniel Jones? Yeah. Daniel yeah. Levis? Yes. Oh, is. God. That was a <laughs> double pass. That was a <laughs> He said, oh, God. <laughs> you could have been me and played Joe Burrow, who got you seven points. Uh, I was highly disappointed in that in yeah. him yesterday. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Joe Burrow, and I always have been since LSU, but I'm really close to giving up on this fool. I don't know what the hell happened yesterday. That was a major digress of, uh, I mean, his boy, T. Higgins and them were out. Uh, but still, it was uh, it was disgusting to watch. Yeah. yeah, but like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of fucking Josh Allen. But he made some shit happen yesterday. Burrow was just sitting along or sitting around waiting. I didn't like that. The Bengals always shit the bed to start the season. I don't know why. Oh. Hey, so apparently Christian McCaffrey is going to be inactive tonight. Ooh. So what? that just happened. Wow. I told you I drafted Jordan Mason. I Limited by Achilles in... and calf in, you know, injury, so. I drafted him in best ball, and then the minute I drafted him, it said yeah. he was an injury-prone player to watch. And I was like, yep, he's going to suck this year. Yeah. I have one player. Mm, I'm going to fuck somebody player. in your league with that pick. Glad I didn't get him in any league that I needed. To huh? So I'm glad I didn't get him. Well, to pivot into running backs, I mean, whoever has him, you're going to need some stuff. But yeah. you're stuck with him for today. Uh, Kenneth Walker, uh, Achan, your boy from last year. That they both. I, I just didn't feel like what he was able to produce last year was even close to being reasonable to ask again. So I just didn't want to touch him. Even I would be willing to risk to be wrong on that one, but 
the depth chart is the one time that fantasy like Jalen Wright. They drafted him in case one of them bastards got hurt. So Jalen Wright's your immediate pickup on waiver wire. Yeah. And uh in the fucking Kenneth Walker situation, if Charbonnet's there, might as well go grab him as the handcuff. True. Damn, that is true. Yeah. He's not available in my league. Uh, somebody drafted him. <laughs> I mean, the Ocean play <laughs> is difficult because they're playing Thursday, so he didn't practice. Mm-hmm. They're, he may miss. I mean, after the CMC news, you they may be like, hey, screw it, we got to rest you. Because it's early, I uh, suspect he's what, gonna miss. Speaking of injuries, is this bad etiquette? If uh, let's say you're facing McCaffrey right now, and you could still scoop up Jordan Mason, do you take Jordan Mason so your opponent can't? Oh uh, no, that's that's exactly what you should do. We yeah. literally got a laugh out of that strategy wow. yesterday. It's like I will put somebody on my team just so somebody else can't get points yeah. with him. In Caleb's league, the the guy knew I had Justin Herbert injured. He picked up three quarterbacks last year. Damn. I had to play Joe Flacco. Yeah. But that actually kind of worked out in your favor. It worked out for me, but still. Hey. Those uh, dick move. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we got the big guys. Now, no tight end did well at all, really. Kyle Pitts is at the top of the list. And you know they did that. But, James, your boy Jake Ferguson got injured. Um, he wasn't the only one. David and Joku got injured also in that same game. So both tight ends, high quality tight ends at that, that people hopefully didn't reach for, but you pretty much locked it in as I don't have to worry about tight end. Now you're worrying about a tight oh, end. Oh, I reached. I reached for Jake. <laughs> <laughs> to me, right off the rip, the person that I would be trying to check the waiver wire for anywhere for it would be Isaiah Likely. I think it's the yep. only tight end that did good all week. He is. He had almost 30 points. Wild. Yeah, yeah, that's a great. I mean, everyone's going to be going for him. Yeah, but oh, that was such so early in the week. A lot of people might have oh, forgot yeah. about that. You should definitely somebody, go for him. Somebody in my league just had to pick up Isaac Guerrero because nobody else is available to play right now. Dang. Because he has CMC. Uh, why? Yeah, um, Isaiah Likely is the only one I'd be trying to go get right now. Everybody else, I'm just going to hope for the best. What about tight end draft? Yeah, with tight ends being being uh, thinner, Tucker Kraft probably emerged as the number one tight end in Green Bay. The thing is, who's throwing to him? If it's Malik Willis, then I wouldn't <laughs> draft. I'm wouldn't. not touching nobody on Green <laughs> Bay for the next like three weeks. Trust Jacobs, maybe, but they're going to be loaded in the box. I will say my tight end that I'm picking up this week, and I'm very upset I didn't pick him up, is. Kobe Parkinson from the Rams. Mm-hmm. He played 89% of the snaps. Somebody got to catch the ball. The poop out. It's probably going to be another receiver. But I'm going to take a risk on him. Very low bench area, bro. You're going to sit there on my bench. Man. Another tight end that might just be chilling on everybody's waiver is Zach Ertz. Yep. Yeah. I got and him. they used him. Yep. I got him there. I even saw I saw Dalton Schultz on a few, a couple of my leagues on the waivers. I Another mean, tight end that got used yesterday, and I was fucking surprised was Juwan uh, Johnson from the Saints. He had a touchdown, yeah, and I was like, dude, they right. never used you for anything. You were just like a big, you were like a six lineman, and they used him a lot yesterday. And I was like, oh. hold on, y'all, what are y'all doing differently? It's because they used stupid Taysom Hill usually. True. Uh, Went away from that. Well, if they was, had they a better him. quarterback, I would – sorry, he, go ahead. They used him because Foster Moreau got hurt yesterday. I still think that they're not coming off of him. The dude is they too might, big. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the reason he got used more yesterday was because Foster For the Moreau same was, reason, if they had a quarterback for the Giants, I would co- consider picking up Theo Johnson. They just drafted him. and He's a giant-ass fucking tight end, bro. He's like 6'9 or something. And he's athletic, but it's like, dang, your quarterback sucks. I mean, in less, less deeper leagues, Brock Bowers is still available in a lot of them. Yeah. And he actually had like 10 points. His team just yeah. sucks. So That's quarterback play, man. There's a lot of bad quarterback play yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Last one, T. Higgins. We are he's always injured. So I mean if you I feel like if you drafted him, you that's your you that. Yeah. You you bit that bullet. Um You don't get into that business without no yeah, I would also scrape their depth chart. Like they got that rookie from Bama, Jermaine Burton. I like the kid. I really like the kid. And if you need a player and your your team sucks, I would just pick him up for the sake of what James said, so nobody else can have him in case he goes off. That's very true. Oh, people... also, I guarantee you, there's a lot of leagues that got Jamison Williams sitting there. Oh, I got him in yeah. two my leagues on the bench. I, I drafted him and stashed him, but now I'm like, oh, he might be might be getting the call. I don't think that the Lions are as good as they showed last night because I think they got a little bit of credit for beating up on a young defense that was stupid tired. But if they use him like that, he's going to get a lot of yards, and it'll make that team better. Yep. Yeah, Goff didn't look great. All everything was yards after the catch. It was nothing deep yep. yesterday. Well, luckily, Goff didn't get hurt, so nobody got to worry about him. You just got to worry about him sucking. That's why are we talking about Goff? Exactly. Now, if you need more help, drop your comments down below. We can write and comment and help you. Um, you're always welcome to meet us on all of our social platforms. Other than that, good luck with your injuries, people. Hopefully, there's no more injuries. I mean, we had the injury today. CMC is out. Breaking news. Good luck. Yeah. Other than that. Like, subscribe for more videos on the way. We're out of here.